Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Ask Me Anything session. So this is the part of the course where you can ask us any question that you would like. And it is my job to try to give you a relatively intelligent answer. So the question of today, this is actually a combination of a lot of different questions that we have received, but they're all essentially asking the same thing. And that is, how can I improve my vocabulary in English? So this is an excellent question. And we receive some version, some variation of this question all the time. And before we get started, I think it is important to first ask yourself, why do you want to improve your vocabulary in the first place? All the time, our students ask us or just tell us, hey, I want to improve my vocabulary. And when I ask why, normally there is a reason behind that. For example, are you having problems finding the right words in conversations? Do you find yourself getting stuck very often? Just in general, it is always a good idea to think about why you want to do something before you start doing it. That is a general good rule for life. Anyways, back to the question. I believe my number one piece of advice is you just simply need to increase your input and output, at least initially. So as you probably know, input, when we are speaking about linguistics, input refers to listening and reading, and output refers to speaking and writing. And as you also probably know, here at English Nui Kuru, we prefer to focus on listening and speaking for a lot of reasons, but just two fast reasons is they tend to be much more effective because when you are having conversations, that is what you're doing. You're listening and you're speaking. You're not writing emails. You are not on your phone. You're talking to another human. So it is more effective in that regard. And I think listening and speaking are the best forms of input and output simply because they do not create any more unnecessary confusion with the difference between the way we write in English and the way we speak in English. Okay? So, obviously, or maybe this is not obvious, but I believe that the best way to increase your vocabulary is with conversation. When you learn a new word in conversation, or when you forget a word and a native speaker has to correct you, those experiences will have a really deep impact for your memory. There's actually some scientific research behind this in terms of memory recall. We tend to memorize things, or we tend to have the capacity to commit things to memory when we are in a similar space or situation. So, for example, if you are studying English and you are walking in the woods with a friend, and then if you are having a conversation and you are in the woods with a friend, it is much easier to remember that vocabulary, right? But if you are in a dark room by yourself, just writing on note cards, it is a little bit more difficult if you are at a party trying to speak English. So I think conversation just kind of directly puts you in the place that you want to start. And obviously some people are more visual and everyone has their own personal learning style and preferences. But in general, listening and speaking will be the most effective way to improve your vocabulary and commit that new vocabulary to memory. Finally, I think it is important to talk about what kind of vocabulary that you would like to focus on. So there are hundreds and thousands of words in English, but most English speakers only know approximately 10,000 word families. So this is a little off topic, but a word family is, for example, blue bluish, bluer, so different variations of the same word, right? But even native speakers only know more or less 10,000 words. 
and that is like adult native fluent speakers. So realistically, you can speak really, really advanced English and only know a couple of thousand words. So with that said, really take some time to think about where you want to focus your vocabulary. If you don't need to talk about chemistry in English, then don't study that vocabulary. If you work in finance, you should probably be reading financial newspapers or listening to business podcasts. Honestly, it is just a question of really thinking about your priorities and focusing your studies directly on the most important thing to you personally. So I think that is my initial answer to this question is simply have more conversations and really focus on what kind of vocabulary you want to learn. Because if you just want to learn new vocabulary, the opportunities are limitless. So you need to set your priorities, think about where you want to focus. And a good resource, a podcast I've listened to recently, is a podcast called Work Life by Adam Grant. And he does an episode about memory, and it's fascinating. So I will include that in the show notes. But for now, my friends, I think... That should be good. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.